Hey there, my name is Manuel Mendez and I make random YouTube videos about my opinions online. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about whether you should go to university or not. Now, as I'm filming this, it's June of 2020 and you're probably thinking, should I go to university or not? Or you're probably not even thinking that, you're just uh, wondering what a random dude has to say about going to college. Well, sorry, university, because those are two different things I just learned about <laughs> Googling it a minute ago. But you're wondering, should I go to university or not? And uh, maybe you already went to university and you're just trying to figure out if it was a waste of time or not based on a total stranger's opinion. Yeah, so let's do it. Uh, I think the first thing that I have to say is I did go to university. Uh, I myself have a master's in digital marketing. I studied there for five years and the experience was pretty good. Uh, to give you a bit of contrast of where uh, that led me, uh, right nowadays I own a digital market agency. I've been owning a digital market agency for the past three years. I have two full-time employees and a team of freelancers and we work with clients pretty much all over the globe. Now, this doesn't mean that uh, if you go to university, you'll have the exact same result or experience, but it just means that uh, I took a traditional round and were and still was able to, you know, uh, make one of my dreams come true. Now, what do I say when people ask me if university is for them or not? So having a job in digital marketing, which is one of the areas that I would say you do not need to go to university for, why did I choose to go to university? Well, you gotta put yourself in my shoes back when I was 18. I just finished high school and uh, I truly didn't know what I wanted to do. Maybe I wanted to make some money, maybe I wanted to play some games, but I really didn't know what I was gonna pursue. Uh, and at first I was like, hmm, how about uh, journalism? And I asked my grandpa and he said, well, there's no money in doing journalism. That's a dying industry. Not really though. But after that, I was forced to think about you know, other avenues and I stumbled upon marketing. And the only reason I picked marketing was I had some experience trying to drop ship before. Since I was 16, I started a drop ship store way back when uh, and had some, some, uh, some success. But at the time, I didn't even know what I was doing was, was marketing. I didn't even know that, uh, you know, looking at brands and trying to figure out what they're trying to say that that was marketing. So I ended up choosing marketing. Why? because I thought, you know, TV ads look fun enough to make and uh, it looks like a good time. So I went to university just based out of that because I had nothing better uh, to do. And also it was my grandparents' long life dream that I took a master's and, you know, my grandparents are a big, big force of support throughout my entire life as are my parents and my brother and my entire family. But I wanted to make them proud and uh, go for that master's. So what happened is I ended up taking, a, well, a three years bachelor's course in marketing, advertising and uh, public relationships, and then a two year master's course in digital marketing. And the question is, would I do it again? Uh, I would say probably yes. And we'll get to why. Change of angle. Yeah, why? Because my camera has run out of battery and this is the only place where I can charge it and actually start, uh, keep making the movie. Anyway, so what were we talking about? We were talking about if I would go to university all again and honestly, I would, I would. I had an enjoyable experience. I met a lot of great people and um, I truly believe that I wouldn't be doing what I am doing currently if I didn't go to university. That is different, however, than saying that university gave me the knowledge to do what I'm currently doing, which isn't the case at all. So was it uh, worth it? I would say yes, but let's uh, let's get straight to the facts here as well. Um, number one, I didn't have to pull myself through college uh, university because my grandparents paid for it. So I'm very, I'm very fortunate in that sense. I didn't have uh, financial distress going through university. I didn't have anything better to do. Overall, it was, you know, my family's dream that uh, I would accomplish it. And so I did. Now, this isn't to say that uh, university is the best route for you or not. Do I think it's a scam? It depends on uh, your definition of a scam. If you want to be, and now we're going to go towards whether you should not, you should go or not to university. If you want to be a doctor, a lawyer, uh, you want to work in finance, then yeah, it's probably the best uh, route for you to take because a lot of these industries and a lot of these professions really need that sort of credential, especially if you're a doctor, um, in order for you to not only be, you know, viewed as a serious person, but to 
get a job. So if you want to be any of these, then yes, you, you need to go to university. Let's say you don't. Let's say you want to follow something like design, marketing, illustration, or even starting your own business. Then uh, I'm going to say no. You probably don't need to go to university. And if you already know exactly what you want to pursue, then my bet is that you should take that energy and that focus or even the money that you would invest into a university degree and invest it into that idea, your business, invest into yourself, invest into online courses that will teach you everything that you need to know. Uh, I often say that the three years that I uh, have been running the agency have been, uh, you know, the most in intensive MBA that I've ever taken. And that's because I've learned so much over working with different clients, different industries, and uh, a lot more than I would ever learn in university. So if you want to go for any of these areas, then I would say, no, you don't need a university. However, there's one big thing that uh, people often forget. When you go to university, uh, things are just given to you. People say, uh, study this, study that, and you study it and you go to the test and you have good results. There's a big, big, big difference from this to being a self-starter and looking for the courses you want to take and looking for the business you want to start and just going out on your own and looking for that information. Most people do not have this skill. Let's call it a skill because it is one. Self-starting yourself is a skill. Now, this is where the problem comes in because you go through school and people always tell you what you should study, what you should do. Uh, they give you um, a planned roadmap and then you get to university and you get to do the same thing. If you don't go to university, then you lose that. And that's scary to most people, but I can guarantee that if you go through that process, uh, it will only bring good things to you. It'll be hard, especially if you have uh, friends that are going to university, but uh, effectively you'll become a better man or woman after that uh, because you'll be able to deal with uncertainty, which is something that most people uh, in this world are not used to dealing with when it comes to their plans. We get anxious, uh, we start thinking about the worst. Uh, sure, we can cope with it, but most people don't know how to deal with it. So there's a lot of benefit in uh, making your own path at that point. However, uh, and going back to, should you go, should you not go? We already said if you want lawyer, doctor, any of those, you know, finance, yes. Creative marketing design, probably not. But even for these, you should only go carve your own path. If you really, really, really know and you have the passion and the drive for it, because let me know, let me tell you something. You know, if you feel like there's nothing better for you to do and you're still unsure, but you know that you want to learn design uh, overall, or you know you want to learn marketing, then uh, by all means, go to university, have the university experience, live out the, um, the university years, as people say, and uh, just have fun in the process. There's no hard rules to this. Of course, this is always keeping in mind that you have the money to do so. I would never, never, never recommend uh, investing into university uh, on these areas where uh, you can grab a course for, you know, maybe even $2,000, 2,000 euros that will teach you everything about, you know, uh, being an up-to-date designer or even joining, a, you know, online coaching pro program, problem, uh, or uh, a core online course. There's just... And there's a lot of free information on YouTube already, so there's a lot of places you can learn. But again, going back to the self-starter conversation, you really need to know that that's what you want to do because that's what's going to provide you for the fuel to look for these alternatives, to look for these solutions, to get better at your craft every single day. Now, I'm going back and forth here, but in summary, you, in my opinion, you should go if you want a traditional job, like doctor, lawyer, finance, and let's call them traditional just to make the distinction here. You have the funds to do so, and if you don't, then you have a reliable source or plan to get those funds and pay the loans or, uh, you know, because you really want the, those traditional jobs, then you need to go to university. That's just the way it goes. However, on the flip side, you don't know what you want to do with your life. Um, what I would say is you have a couple of options. You can take a gap year. Uh, you can just do nothing for a year and uh, a lot of times inspiration comes from boredom. So, you know, that's a-okay. I think that's a fantastic plan. Even if, uh, you know, your parents say, mm, what are you going to do? Are you going to get a job? Honestly, let create, let the, um, let your creative spirit flow as well during that uh, year. Go travel a bit. Um, 
you know, submerse yourself in new interests, try different things. That's a very, very good life experience that can eventually lead you to where you want to go. Because the fact is that at 18, you know, not a lot of us know exactly where, what we want to do or where we're going to go with our lives. We're still finding who we are, really. So taking a gap year, taking a pause year, you know, it's, uh, it's a really good experience as well. And now for the third one is, you know exactly what you want to do but you either don't have the money for it, university, or uh, even better, you know exactly what you need to do and you know why you don't you need university to do it. This is, you know, if you're in that stage, awesome. I applaud you. I didn't know what I was doing at, at 18. But uh, if you really don't want to know, you know, I want to start an e-com business. I want to be an illustrator. I want to be a designer. I want to do this, X, Y, and Z. You know exactly where you want to go. You want, you want to be a photographer. And awesome. Do it. Look for the courses. Okay, different angle again, because I have to finish this video uh, and my camera's getting too hot. But uh, if you know exactly what you wanna do, you wanna follow one of these areas, then do it for sure. Uh, just be aware that you'll need to push yourself uh, and you have no one behind you that's gonna do that work for you. So that's what university uh, does for you. It gives you the structure that you only need to follow their roadmap and uh, you know, you'll be all right, it's not hard. But if you're a self-starter, it is hard because you need to look for the solutions yourself. And, but trust me, if you go on that path and you go on that journey, it's a great process and I'm sure that you'll learn a lot. Overall, I hope this helps. If you still have any questions about going to university or about my path or what I did or even just my opinion on anything re uh, related to this subject, just drop a comment below Subscribe if you want to see more of my amazing opinions about subjects. And yeah, um, questions for you, I would say is after this video, are you still going to do what, you, what you're planning to do, whether that is going to university or not going to the university? What are your thoughts right now? What, what's going through your mind as uh, not only you see this video, but on this stage of your life? I'm really curious to uh, know exactly what you're going through and uh, where that where that's going to lead you. Because I'm sure that, you know, whatever you do, uh, if you're already searching for the solutions to the questions you're having, such as, you know, looking at this video, then uh, I'm positive you're going to be a great success. That's it for, for today and uh, have an amazing day. I'll catch you on the next one.